Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. We need to get the caravan a rolling down south to uh, Meth with 27 t shirts. Once we complete that trade deal, I think it would be reasonable to then um, not only look for bionic parts there, but we would be able to go save the incapacitated refugee then further on up uh, to the other two northern settlements. I have no recollection of what they're called. We got Dancer's Cliff and Edar at the river. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We only have two days left so we really need to send this uh, caravan out as soon as possible. So Ilarion can barely see. Hubbard is in a pretty bad way right now. Who was it that had the infection? Koth has an infection. His immunity is built up pretty well for the time being, but he needs to make sure to get greeted. Okay, I don't think he's going to be in the caravan anyway. I don't think that Ilarion should be either since he can't see very well. But if that's the case, he probably ought to leave the charge rifle on the ground somewhere so that somebody more suitable can pick it up, like maybe Bing. If I remember right, he has a decent... Oh no, only four, three, four, thirteen, five. So Hubbard would probably take it. Hubbard doesn't have a weapon on her right now. Where's she moving to? Cooking a simple meal. I'll have her go ahead and grab this. So her health is not the best, but she should be healing up pretty quickly, I'd say. Let's go ahead and form up the caravan. Well, wait. Let's wait until after she grabs that gun. We can make sure that she has it equipped. And Ilarion ending to Koth. That does need to be done as soon as possible, but you actually need a weapon. That's not quite the best one. It's only 14%. I don't know how long that's going to last, to be totally honest. But I think this is probably the best one then. Get that equipped. So I think Ilarion and Koth will probably stay here as far as fighters go. Take Hubbard, Coley, Bing, Osborne, and Jenny. We got Wooter, Shun, and Taicho staying. We got Koth and Ilarion here to defend. That should be okay. We'll still. I'm gonna make sure that we've got wardens. I think Taicho and Shun are working on that pretty diligently. Uh, we could take an alpaca with us to carry more stuff. We'll just have to see how it goes. That's 12 days worth of food. Rots in 1.9 days for some reason. I feel like that's not accurate. I feel like that's not at all accurate. What if we just did... 6 days worth of food to start out with? I'm pretty sure that's going to get us down to meth and back. Um, then we need 27 t-shirts. Going to be down at the bottom. So let's take these worn out ones as well. Let's see. That's 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 
15. Sixteen. Man, I really hope that they don't have to be in perfect condition. That's for sure. I've stopped counting. Uh, we're going to take more than 27 because I'm going to need to take as many t-shirts as we have to make sure that uh, we have enough fresh ones for them. Hopefully we do anyways. pretty good and we can sell this power armor helmet we're doing all right as far as weight goes so let's try and see uh, what else we might take with us take one of these and then these less powerful could take this extra minigun as well pretty good price for it I'd say I think I'll keep the superior one even though it's worth less. I think it's because of the durability on it, is all. Let's see. So this got gun is good. I'd say this poor one could probably go. We've got nice sniper rifles. Um, machine pistol. Gotti assault rifles. A good LMG that's almost dead. All of our almost dead weapons, I think, are good to go. Superior knife is worth quite a bit of money. It doesn't weigh very much. We can take our max. That's about half of our elephant tusks for a large trading piece. And then we want to configure that we pop out in the south. South uh, west is probably better because I'm pretty sure that's straight onto a road. But well, right here, I guess. So we should be able to pass through there uh, onto the road. Yeah, dirt path still registers right there, so that's good. Either one of these. Since we're headed south, popping out there will be ideal. Oh, and I feel like that took quite a bit of time. But it is all set now, so that's positive. We've got another good LMG here. Koth is armed. Hilarion, Coldy, Jenny. Do I really want to take... Oh wait, Bing doesn't have a weapon. Equip this LMG. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck out here. Um, and that he joins the caravan. Okay, he is. He is still moving. That's good. I think I am going to double up the uh, granite here and here so that we have a stronger point where they are less likely to break through. Okay, local squirrel has gone mad. I don't think it's going to bother anything. I'll be surprised if it gets around top, uh, but we'll see. And the caravan is ready. Let's head down and visit Meth. We don't want to attack. The so point eight days, that's pretty magnificent, I'd say. Days worth of food, six rots in 69 days. That makes more sense, since it's the pemmican. If it takes less than a day to get here, I imagine it'll take only about a day to get here. It wouldn't surprise me if they go around this direction and then through the... around the hills here. But we'll see how that goes. Just now starting to become morning. I don't know if having a night owl in the caravan helps anything. I'm not sure if she increases the speed while they're supposedly sleeping or something. I don't know the answer to that question. All right. Koth, you have developed your immunity. So get out of bed, you lazy bum. I was worried he was going outside, but he was just repairing the wall there. This thing is clearly maddened still. Uh, 
Oh yeah, he does have a chance to get inside from around here. So Koth, draft you up and bring you over to here. We're gonna get a shot at it, I think so. Hit it one time. Okay, Hilarion, we'll draft you up and bring you around here. Koth, let's bring you around here actually. You might have had time to get one more shot off, but this is going to be a little bit, a little bit safer, maybe. Oh no! Okay, that was close. Hilarion could have very easily hit Koth there. That would have been painful. All right, elephant. Don't abuse your privileges of running around the base willy-nilly. Going up here and devouring my foods. It's not very nice. Shipbuilding basis basics has been researched, which is magnificent. Um let's see. We need deep drilling to get the ground scanner to get the ship sensor cluster. We also have to go through the cryo sleep casket to get to these. Let's go drilling first. And make sure we do have wardens. Yes, John and Taicho both. Now, a lot of bills probably opened up for Taicho. Somehow I missed three shirts. It's not good. Because it carries too much? Okay. I'm not sure how it picked up an extra four kilograms somehow. See if we can find something that's about that weight. 3.4, 3.5 has been closest. Okay, so I would say uh, probably this Rifle here. Yep. We'll abandon that one and... That too. Okay. That's fine. I know that the power armor helmet was only worth about 11 bucks. Hmm. I'm not sure how they got over encumbered there. I wonder if these clothes were just made recently. Got a male psychic drone going on. That's never good, I'd say. Oh wow, they haven't even built the crematorium since it was destroyed the first time. I think it was a tornado wiped it out if I remember right. Pretty crazy. He took one steel over there? Where's he going? Okay. Hauling 19 steel, wow. I guess we're out of granite blocks or something? No, we've got plenty of granite. Oh, we're out of components. Okay.
make the mortar shells available there. And uh, increase the priority. Vertical. It should be the highest priority one. Have we read about this sculpture yet? I feel like we haven't. Coley's Freedom. We still have Coley around, so that's good. And she's the author. So this piece shows an ibis in the set of suspenders of an archaeologist. Interesting. Six engineers appears in the upper, upper part of the image, while the work suggests the concept of growth. Fabulous. Nope. Oh, Caravan 1 has arrived. Okay, this has a beauty of 50... Beauty of 100, 100, 100. So this is probably going to be one that we get started on in the rooms. I think putting it kind of in the center is ideal. More like this. Because as far as I know, uh, the range that they see things is like this. This is all minus one around here. Minus six for these really filthy areas here. Got some dirt around and that sort of thing, but okay. We are here. Oh, yep, fulfill 27 shirts, confirm, done. Holy cow, that's pretty magnificent. So we have a ton of silver now, actually more than we can even carry. That's a little bit of a shame. We'll have to fix that. Okay, it doesn't look like they've, uh, updated their Let's see updated what they've got okay I'm not sure what exactly weighs the most I think it was mostly this stuff shotgun so it seems to me as though they totally took the less or the more damaged items, I would say. Okay. We don't want to be carrying around a lot of things just in case the incapacitated refugee is surrounded by enemies. They've got a poor power armor helmet. Did we sell this to them last time we were here? I feel like we did. Alright. We still have a decent amount of elephant tusks, which... I mean, what is that? 2,500? Something like that. And then we've got 5,000 in cash. 25 weight to spare. I could try and buy components. They don't weigh very much. This is increasing our weight, but we can get all of them. I could accept that, for sure. Except. And then, is it the incapacitate? Oh, they go straight across? 0.9 days. Out of 5. Good. Everybody's fully healed as well. Lyrion, what is your problem, buddy? Oh, wow. You're really upset. That psychic drone is pretty bad, actually. Okay, he's eaten something. Now he's going to rest. Nice. Ugly environment. He's not pleased with his room, clearly. He doesn't have a floor yet, which, if I remember, is slate. Yeah. And this slate, that's granite. Oh. Oh, peaceful caravan, that's good. Let's see what they've got. Nothing really that I need. And I don't want to sell any of my stuff to them, so let's just keep moving. Sleeping, sleeping. Lynx is still completely incapacitated. 
His withdrawals are only at 44%, so we're going to have to wait quite a while uh, before he's capable of doing anything. Turret is broken down. That's the one of the worst ones. Oh, the psychic drone is over, though. So that's pretty fantastic. Still getting some meals made. Not as many as we have been, though. And there are a bunch of bodies here that have decomposed by now. Is really not ideal. I think we should almost always have two folks um, cooking. Jun is actually pretty good. Ilarion and Koth do about the same thing. Ilarion is a researcher too, but he doesn't do the growing. I think we'll have Ilarion help out with the cooking. This has a secondary purpose of keeping Ilarion close to the center of the base, just in case we get attacked by anything. So he can be responding quickly to the rebels. I was thinking um, off camera too that I want to deconstruct this wall here. So when we do have the infestations pop up, they'll be more inclined to come around this direction instead of eating through this slate wall here. I think that's something that I am actually going to just go ahead and do. If we get rid of that, I think that'll be fine. We could expand this stockpile just to include these squares here. And then uh, when we do get infestations, we can shoot them from here, kind of lure them up this direction. Uh, maybe have people over here attacking through from different angles. But we'll see how it goes next time. Okay, so the uh, caravan is where it's supposed to be. Let's see what is protecting this poor soul. I don't see anybody here. Could be an ambush though. Caravan will automatically reform. And there's no structures or anything around here. It's kind of one there. Approach by cover if we can. Nothing? Okay. Well, Nelly, what's your problem? Death in 12 hours? Um, let me think real quick. Somebody's going to cut the trees down. That's good. And then... Want to get a sleeping spot dropped into here. Turn it into a medical one. Hubbard, what are you up to? Resting. Uh, rescue Nelly. Oh, I didn't bring herbal medicine along with me this time again. That is a real shame. Honestly. Hubbard, you're about the best doctor here, I'm pretty sure. 23. We're gonna go with a door right there. And Osborne, do you build anything? Kind of. Okay, we still need more materials. Cleaning. <laughs> well done, Osborne. Bing! Are you missing an arm or something? What's going on? Yep. Old gunshot from a minigun in his left arm. Okay, we need to get these trees cut down. Okay, he's building the door now. What I wanted. Okay. Hubbard, capture Nelly. No immediate danger, and we have a prisoner. 
So now we're going to bring her with us while we go places. Okay. Not too shabby. Um... I can't imagine that we need to stay here for anything. Let's reform the caravan, I'd say. Yep, all of them are going. We have extra carry capacity now, but I don't think we need to bring any of these along. I mean, I could argue for bringing slate chunks, but I don't think it's worth it. What amount of time do we have? Oh, 9.6 days and we only have 3 days of food? It says 6.5 here, but that's just because of uh, Nelly being in extreme pain, not able to walk, all that kind of stuff. As soon as she's able to walk, that should decrease the travel time dramatically. So we should be okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We have a little bit of meat left still. Muffaloes. Scyther blade. Meth. <laughs> of course it is. Meth, can you calm down, please? 20 days to fulfill that one. I think we can handle that. Okay, deep drilling has been researched. Let's go straight for the ground penetrating scanner. That's going to take forever. Nelly has an infection in her right leg. already been treated. He's not healing up uh, in a very good amount of time. Looks like her infection is getting away from her. A little over 1% ahead right now, unless she gets some better treatment than that next time going to be in a bad shape. If I tell him to move here, does it just say... See, I don't know if there's any benefit to just hanging out. Um, only have two days worth of food. 4.7 days to here. 5.9 days to here. gonna have to see how it goes. 5.8 days. I feel like we need to head straight home, but we could pick up more food here in Meth if they have any. I didn't notice that they had any last time though, to be completely honest. Osborne is wandering in sadness, okay. That's not gonna help our situation. A major infection it's up to and it's three four percent ahead of the immunity this is not looking good at all has to wait 10 hours you're trying to catch up a little bit but on average it seems to be staying about three percent behind is not ideal Our other injuries are healing pretty well. Maybe letting them rest for a little while really helped her out. I'm not sure. He's still incapacitated. He seems to be catching up, though. 
Two hours till treatment. If her treatment is any better than what it is now, she may make it. It's tending right now. How long is it going to wait? Okay. Been treated. It doesn't look like the greatest quality. Ouch. I think she's dead. Yeah. The infection is taken off. Oh, man. She's going to be like 1% behind on it, too. So we tried to save her, and it just didn't work out for us. Oh, what a shame. I hope we don't have to drop stuff, though. Ugh. We died. Whoa! Why, cargo pods? Why would you do this to me? For some granite blocks? Not worth it, guys. Not worth it. Yeah, this is counted as outdoors now. We need to get that fixed as quickly as we can. To be honest. Man, we need components for that, for sure. Aw, oh, man. I'm so sad we weren't able to save her. We did get the trade done, which is good. We can take them another Scyther Blade. I can't believe that's what they want, but we can do that. As soon as we get back here, I'm just going to allow them to rest a day and then uh, grab up another load of pemmican and head out for those other two places. Try to get some trading done there and... Uh, I yeah, try to get back in enough time to go trade with the other place. Oh yeah. They're actually doing pretty well on the cooking. I am very pleased with the way that it's going, that's for sure. Alright, we do have some slate blocks. I guess they might be reserved for this. Maybe. This old shabby walkway. Getting that built. That's good. Matter of fact, I wouldn't mind having this built down here, too. That sniper rifle should be roofed, I would think. Yeah, rock roof. I guess I forgot to place another wall there. Yeah, we're getting some flooring put into Ilarion's place. That's good. Okay, they're right at home though, so they should be fine. A little sad, Taicho has uh, designated himself stone cutter for the time being. I kind of would rather he worked on tailoring. Make more clothes for people, but I guess we do have some available in decent condition, so should be all right. Psychic soothe for the male colonists. That's nice. Um, let's see, cow skin cloth. We only have about forty left. It looks like.
So we may want to... Plant another cotton field one of these days. Whoa. A flash storm of some kind coming on. Dry thunderstorm, it says. Cave tinder, all by himself. Caravan one has arrived. They are hungry. It looks like they're all eating right away. Oh, I thought Ilarion was about to eat some raw rice. I nearly stopped him, but we're all good. Osborne is doing a clean real quick. That's fantastic. 14 hour right now. Ah, I was just about to say, where's uh, the prisoner? I figured they'd bring her in here. She's dead. He's dead. Okay, well, I've run over on time a little bit. Um... I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things, but we are going to send out the caravan uh, very soon to head into the next area. If you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description, and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you've spent on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.